Tracy here, or The Diamond Stitcher, as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Hello, good morning, or good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. I hope you're having a wonderful one. If you are new to my channel, first off, welcome. I'm happy you found me, and I hope you would consider subscribing and stick around for all things diamond painting. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me. I am here with another Diamond Art Club new release roundup. These new releases I will be reviewing are going to release on Saturday, May 18th. We have quite a few images to get through and as you can see based on the cover we have some really exciting things, at least I think they're really exciting, so I can't wait to get into it. Now I will do a little bit of a disclaimer. I may sound very short of breath in this video. I try and edit out all of the, you know, gasping, but um, those that don't know me, I do have an injury to my diaphragm where it's partially paralyzed and some days breathing is just very hard and today is one of those days. But I wanted to get this filmed and get this up today because there are some really cool images that I'm really excited about. I think they look amazing and I think Diamond Art Club did a wonderful job rendering them and I just can't wait to get into it with you guys. So. Uh, bear with me today and I'm sorry if I sound like I am gasping. I'm, I am out of breath, but nevertheless, let's get started. So if this is the first time you're seeing a new release roundup, what I do is I come over to Facebook, which we, well, that's where we are right now. And this is Diamond Art Club's business page. Now this is different from the VIP group. If you're in the VIP group, what it says here is Diamond Art Club, I think it's in brackets VIP group. I don't want to pull it up because it's only for members of the group so I don't want to you know accidentally share anything I'm not supposed to but that's the VIP group. If you see this page it just says Diamond Art Club. This is their business page. You also want to follow this page along with that VIP group. You can tell this is the business page. One, it doesn't say VIP group and two, it has this multicolored uh, diamond kind of logo as the profile picture. They do change the cover photo up um, rather frequently when they have uh, different releases coming out. To follow this page, all you have to do is click this like button. I've already, of course, liked it, so that's why it says like, but yours, if you don't follow it, should say like. Just click that button and you will be following this. And this is important because this is where Diamond Art Club gives us the sneak peeks at the images they will be releasing for the week. This includes uh, Saturday releases, of course, which is the big release day, and then if they have any Monday or Wednesday releases or any special other, other day releases like Sundays, uh, it's all going to be previewed here. So this is where you first hear it, then usually somebody will screenshot it, share it in that VIP group. But if you want to know, like, as soon as Diamond Art Club announces it, follow this group. Now I'm going to scroll back down and we are going to see where these images started for the week. That is right. So this week we did have a special release and this was for Memorial Day. They released these two kits. Now I didn't check if they were sold out or not, but they probably were very popular. I really like this image here uh, with the soldiers and the airplanes. I think that is very powerful. And this one also is great too. And if I click on the renderings, we can see what they look like as diamond paintings. I think this one's gonna be beautiful. I like how the flag looks like it is uh, flying in the air. And then we'll go to this one, and that one looks amazing too. They did a really good job. I love the colors in the flag. And uh, I, I noticed based on some comments that you can see this patch on the right side um, if you're looking at it the right way, the right side of the chest, that is where you can put your loved ones or your name. So if these images interest you, take a look on the website. Again, I, I forgot to look to see if they were sold out or not, but uh, the information on them is here if you wanna pause it and take a quick read. But we are here for the Saturday releases. So they kicked off the week with this image. Now what I do is I go through each image on Diamond Art Club's Facebook page. They also do preview these on Instagram. However, the images are usually cut off, so I don't bother going over there. I just stick to the Facebook page here where we can see the full image in its entirety. I like reading their little blurb that they make for each image. Some of them are tongue twisters, so it can get interesting. And of course, we go over uh, the stats and we try and guess where some of the special diamonds might be. This image, let's click on the original artwork. This is beautiful. I'm just gonna get make sure it's in frame. There we go. Lots of beautiful pinks in this image. There's gonna be a lot of shades of pink, some pops of blue. We've got the plant. We've got, looks like almost like a, a Christmas tree over here, 
uh, a cake, lots of cupcakes, more cake, cookies. This looks like a baker's delight. Now let's take a look at what it says. It is titled Little Baker by Miss Holly. It is going to be in the size 39 by 27.6 inches or 99 centimeters by 70 centimeters. Of course, the longer number is going to be the width wise. So this is going to be a large diamond painting. It's also going to be in square diamonds. It's going to have 84 colors. Wow, I would not have guessed it has that many colors. I do wonder how many shades of pink we are going to see. Uh, Diamond Art Club, if you didn't know, if you see the number range 6,000 on the color list, those are the colors that Diamond Art Club is producing themselves. They noticed there were colors missing in the color chart or they wanted more um, you know, dimension and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? flexibility in choosing the colors. So they make their own colors. So I bet you we're gonna see some new 6,000 numbers in this image. It's going to have four ABs, five fairy dust, and one special diamond. What kind of special diamond? I'm Usually, if there's an extra special diamond, it will either say glow in the dark, electro, iridescent. I wonder what could be in here? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think what else would be special that doesn't have its own name. I mean, quad cubes, I don't think um, have a specific name, but I don't really see where quad cubes would be used in this image. I'm not seeing, unless, because this image is so big, maybe some of the dots, but that would be, I, I don't think that's the right one. What else could the special diamond be? That is, uh, I was gonna say a tongue twister, but that uh, stumps me a little bit. I'm very curious to find out what that special diamond would be, maybe in her necklace, but that would only be one. I don't know, you guys, I'm stumped. Anyway, let's take a look at the rendering. Wow, so the rendering doesn't look as pink as the original artwork. That's the first thing I noticed, like the walls back here look a lot more, um, to me, they look more pink in this image. But again, that's also the, the, the availability of the colors, right, plus, you want every part of the image to stand out. So I actually like the rendering. I like how you can, um, it's almost like the details pop out a little bit more. To me, even this table is kind of pink, but when we go over here, it, it looks more brown. I think it looks great. I am guessing this image is going to have a good mix of color blocking and confetti. Color blocking is, for example, in an area like here, her sleeve or this um, icing pipe bag you're gonna have the same color. You can use your multi-placer and move through those sections fairly quickly. We'll also see some color blocking in the background on the walls, around the window. You'll have some line blocking in the table there, but then all of the fine details like the cupcakes and the cakes, you're gonna have a little bit more of the confetti. I think it's going to be an image that works up fairly nicely. I am just taking a look at her eyes and I, I'm, I'm going back to this photo just to look at the original artwork. It, 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 is, it is difficult to see, but she does have blue in her, what is that called, an iris, I think? And then, you know, her eyelashes and that. When we go to the rendered image, they look a little bit more red than I think they would be. That's just my opinion, though. As far as where are the special diamonds, well, we ought to have some pink probably a pink fairy dust and a pink AB. There's tons of pink in this painting, different shades of pink. I think you could get away with a few different colors or a few different options. I do think this green hanging plant might have maybe some green fairy dust. I think it would look pretty. I've seen that in other paintings and I really like how it turned out. I'm sure some of the um, icing or designs on the cake, the cupcakes, even the cake back here, maybe we'll have some special diamonds just to make them look uh, sparkly or shiny, like icing kind of looks. We probably have a white AB, maybe a white fairy dust. You've got lots of options. You've got the polka dots in the pictures here. You've got, she's wearing a white apron. You've got lots of areas where you could use white to make things stand out in the curtains up here at the top of the window and the jars on the side there. Again, I, I said, let's just double check, four ABs and five fairy dust. So yeah, there are a lot of options for where these special diamonds would be. This is a fun painting. It's not one that I would gravitate toward just because the amount of pink, but I think they did a great job rendering it. And I know a lot of you will like this. Miss Holly is a very popular artist at Diamond Art Club. Let's take a look at the next one. So this one is another Zodiac from All Claire Studio. It says, embark on a starry adventure. 
with Cosmic Allure, dance among the planets catching moonlight in the palm of your hand. It's titled Capricorn by Eau Claire Studio. It's measuring 22 by 22 inches or 55.8 by 55.8 centimeters. It is a square diamond painting. Again, it's a smaller sized image, so there's gonna be a little bit more detail. That's why we're seeing squares. For those of you that are new to the Diamond Art Club and don't understand why Diamond Art Club only offers one drill shape, they choose the best drill shape for the image. So if you are going to see a very detailed image, you're probably going to find it will be in square diamonds. If it's an image that has a lot more color blocking, a lot less detail, it's more likely to be in a round. I haven't actually looked at the actual stats. I do feel like we do see more squares than rounds, but I know when they did do a trial period where they did offer some images in both shapes, they found that the squares sold out faster and sold out more. But I wanted to throw that in there because inevitably every week we hear somebody complain that there's no round paintings. You know, the one thing that I mentioned is uh, Diamond Art Club lets us vote on what images we want to see turned into diamond paintings. They always have that vote in the V VIP Facebook group, another perk of being part of that group. If you are wanting to see a lot of round paintings, then start voting for things that have less detail. You, they're more likely, it's not a given or a guarantee, but it's more likely to be made into a round if there's not so much detail. So if you're voting for very large paintings, very detailed images, they're probably going to be in square. Now, when they did do that trial period, what we did see is when they rendered, for example, this image in square, when they did offer a round version, it had to be bigger in size in order for it to capture the same detail. So that's also why if you're voting for very large paintings, they're already large in size. If they were to do them in round, it would be even bigger, uh, which would be, uh, I think, quite um, at least not a lot of fun to work on. I like smaller paintings myself. But anyways, let's continue here. Square with 64 colors, including two ABs, one iridescent. Now the iridescent, again, is Diamond Art Club's version of the crystal and four fairy dust colors. So two ABs, four fairy dust, one iridescent. Here is the original artwork. So this is Eau Claire Studios uh, Zodiac series. A lot of people like collecting the Zodiacs and they've been waiting for another one to release. This one's beautiful. I love all the colors. I love purple, my favorite color by far. And I really like when they mix purples, pinks, and blues together. I think it turns out very nice. Now let's look at the rendering. There we go. The one thing I find hard to um, like translate into a diamond painting is all the stars in images like this. Like if you look at the, the original artwork, these stars are very, like they're, they're translucent. They're not, you know, in your face, but in the nature of diamond painting, when you translate them, they're gonna be a little bit more noticeable, but I think they do a good job in getting the idea of the stars, you know, filling up the sky. If I'm not mistaken, the iridescent diamond, the crystal is probably in this gold border. I'm pretty sure that is where they've put it for most of the paintings. I only have, I think I only have one of the Zodiac series, Sagittarius, for no other reason than I like the artwork. I'm not into collecting Zodiacs, I'm not into astrology, so I just I just pick the art based on art I like, right? Um, but yeah, I think that is where the iridescent would go, and then I said, did I say one AB? One, two ABs and four fairy dust. The AB, we probably have a white AB, you can see uh, the uh, kind of circle surrounding her is white. It looks like it's glowing. We also have some glowing colors in the background as well. So my guess would be a white AB and, you know, they could have put a metallic in here too. This little, um, what do you call this? Like a, a symbol for a Capricorn and her earrings, even the design in her dress here. I guess this wouldn't really be metallic unless it was like jewel encrusted, but her earrings too. You could pop some gold metallics in there. I think it would look really nice. I think it would look nice around this as well. The other AB, what color would they use? Maybe they do have some yellows in the earrings. If I can zoom in, can I zoom in here? In some of this, you can see there's yellow. Maybe that would be in an AB to highlight that area, make it a bit more shiny. I do see some of the yellow used uh, on the outline of her hair as well, and probably in here too. So you, they could have used the same color. Now this as well, maybe is a, yeah, the same yellow AB. That's my guess. The fairy dust, we probably have a pink, a blue, a purple, and maybe a white as well. Actually, they do have some tan fairy dust, so they could have thrown some tan fairy dust in here just to give it a bit of a different dimension. She also has some, looks like, 
uh, tan color in her eyes. So I've seen them start putting fairy dust in, whoops, in the eyes to make it a little bit more shiny. This is a pretty image. I like it. I bet you it's going to be very popular. Like I said, uh, a lot of the Zodiacs end up being a collectible collection. A lot of people will collect them and have a full set. Next up, we have this one. This one brought me right back to my childhood. So it says, jump on board with George, Jane, Judy, Elroy, and Rosie, zipping through the skies of tomorrow. Say hello to a bright future where laughter soars and there's no room for sorrow. It's titled The Jetsons by WBEI, which I believe is Warner Brothers. It's going to measure 17.5 by 13 inches or 44.6 by 32.9 centimeters, so it's a nice small size. It's also going to be square diamonds. I'm, I'm guessing to keep this image on the smaller side, squares looked better. If we did rounds in with these uh, faces, they, this image would have to be a lot bigger. This would be a good size if you have a, a child, for example, starting out diamond painting, or like me, it brings you back to your childhood and you want a small kit to work on between your larger projects. It is going to have 52 colors. That's quite a lot for, for this kind of image. Two ABs and two fairy dust. So here is the original artwork here, the whole family. This definitely brings me back. I used to watch the Flintstones and then the Jetsons would come on. I think it was before. And I was always impatient because I preferred the Flintstones, but I would watch the Jetsons as a child too. And I remember thinking that you know, by the time I'm an adult, we would have flying cars as well. <laughs> Here is the rendering. So again, the rendered artwork, that just means what it's going to look like with the diamonds down. If we zoom in, you can see all those little diamonds. This kit is going to have quite a bit of color blocking the entire background, all the different shades of blue and the whites, the green in the, um, I can't remember if these kind of cars had a specific name, but all of this green is going to be some color blocking as well, though smaller sections, but you could use a multi-placer through here. They've done a really good job at incorporating the shading in this diamond painting. I, I love when they have a lot of colors in a, in a color range that they can do that, and it makes it look really cohesive. And then you'll have a little bit more confetti in the people as they are smaller smaller with more details on the faces. I said two and two, so we probably have a white AB. I'm not certain, but there's a lot of white in this image that they could use it in. I wonder if they would do a green AB to make this spaceship a little bit more shiny. Fairy dust wise, they could also do a green fairy dust. I've seen them uh, with some pretty colors in that range. And also maybe a white fairy dust. I don't know if they would have both. Maybe some pink, I don't know, maybe the lipstick would be, you know, a special diamond. I don't know. I don't diamond paint images like this often, so um, it's just a guess, really, for me. Next up, we have this one. Let's take a look at the original artwork. This is beautiful. When I saw it, I just thought I would love to pop up a lawn chair on that beach and just, I could feel the warmth. I could feel the wind, the, the nice breeze from the ocean, the way these plants are drawn, or grasses, I should say. It says, walk along the silvery shore, listening to the soothing rhythm of the waves. Breathe in the salty air as you feel your cares sink into the sound with each step. That's a perfect description. That's exactly what this image made me feel like. It's titled Barefoot Beach by Emily James Art. I don't know if she's a new artist or if we've seen her before with a Diamond Art Club. It's going to measure 27.6 by 27.6 or a perfect square 70 centimeter by 70 centimeter. It's on the larger size in terms of when I think of perfect square diamond paintings. It's also going to be square diamonds. Again, there's a lot of fine detail in this image to get uh, all of the, the grasses and the, the dimensions in the water and the sand. 74 colors, that's a lot of colors. I feel like they are putting more colors in their paintings, which is great because it allows more opportunity for proper shading and proper, you know, a proper color range, right? You can get it as close to the original artwork, the more colors you have. Four ABs and two fairy dust. So here's that original artwork again, just a little bit is cut off at the bottom uh, on the image here, not much. And then let's look at the rendering. I think they did an amazing job. Just look at the grasses here. Then if I go back to that original, I think they did an awesome job translating that into diamond painting form. That's the one thing that diamond painting always makes me just in awe of how little plastic beads can look so realistic on a canvas. It's just amazing. There are some seagulls up here too that I can see now 
flying in the sky. Oh my gosh, I forgot. What did I say? Four and two. Four ABs. That's a lot of ABs. So we probably have a white AB. When you're working with water and the reflection, there's lots of white in there. Tends to have some ABs in it. They might have a green or a blue AB as well, just because there's lots of colors in that water. We have the blue kind of up here. And then as it gets shallower, it turns into more of like that clear glass green. They might have some ABs in the sky too. They could get away with some whites, but I think most of it we'll see in the water. I wonder if the fairy dust we're gonna see in the grasses, they are a little bit more subdued. They do have some tan and light green color fairy dust that I think would look good in there. But who knows, we could also see a fairy dust mixed in with the water just to give it a little bit more dimension than just all ABs. But I think that is a beautiful painting. This is one that I see in a, a beach themed bathroom is, is where I envision this image hanging up. I think it's beautiful. I am not one to usually work on landscape type paintings, but I, I could see myself working on something like this because it does kind of transport me to that, that scene, which I think would be very calming and help with reducing anxiety as well. This one is a jaw dropper. My jaw dropped when I saw this image. I um, used to be very into darker art paintings a little bit more scary paintings, I would say. I I don't have to paint them as much anymore, but I'm really considering buying this one because I think Diamond Art Club rendering team did this artwork so much justice. I think this could go in the record books as one of the best renderings ever. Uh, let's talk about it first. So glide through the shimmering mists of time where whispers of the past echo through the silent woods, ascend the ancient steps beckoned by the light of guardians flames. Goddess of Stone Temple is what this artwork is titled. And the artist is Drew Coleman. I'm not sure if this is a new artist or not. I'm not recognizing the name. It's 27.6 by 27.6. Again, a perfect square or 70 by 70 centimeters. Of course, it's going to be in square again. There's just too much detail in that painting to be round. 51 colors. That is more my style. Two ABs and two fairy dust. Let's look at the original artwork here. At first I thought this image is gonna be pretty darn big because of all of the detail. We've got all of the greenery on both sides. Even the stairs have a lot of detail in them. All of the background in here is just a very detailed image. But when I saw that rendering, my jaw dropped. Like how can you make little plastic beads look see-through like this? How can you make them translucent? I have no idea how you can do that. I guess, you know, with with a very talented team you can but even all the way through her head through her back down her dress like the way they transformed it it's almost identical i'm just amazed by it i think they did a great job rendering this one let me remind myself i said two and two right yes two ab's two furry dust would we have a white ab in here i'm not sure maybe a white fairy dust i feel like um the dress is more of a subtle white because it is translucent so maybe some white fairy dust in there to highlight some things they could also use it up here i see some highlighting around the arch here as well in white i don't know if it would be a white ab or more likely a fairy dust just to get you know double double use out of a color i do wonder if we have some green fairy dust in the greenery around here it's looking like it's glowing whether that's green or tan could be a tan color that might be a fairy dust i would imagine we have some ab's in these candles to make them really look like they're glowing especially on the tops there they did a great job at making that look like a actual flame where else would the other ab they might have put in a small amount of white ab's just to go up here I don't know if we would see that in the dress. Maybe, maybe some parts of it a little bit, like maybe over here, maybe here and here. Then again, I'm not too sure. The, some of the stairs look like they might be highlighted a little bit. Of course, all of the candles up here too, and this one especially looks like it's glowing quite a bit. So definitely think there's some ABs in that one, but I am contemplating purchasing this image. I think this is beautiful. And I think they did a great job at transforming that ghost into a ghost in diamond painting form. Absolutely amazing. Especially when you look at these two images side by side, like quick glance without like, you know, digging in too deep, you know, thinking too much about it. It, it looks identical to me. Very good job. Amazing job rendering team. Now, 
let's see this one i love this one i thought the colors in this were perfect this 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 kind of brings me to Halloween season, though it's not really Halloween, but I feel like this castle in the background could be like a haunted mansion or something. And I think the purples and pinks in the sky, in the building, even in the wolf itself, there it looks like there are going to be some shades of purple at least. That's going to look amazing. It says, uh, Serenade the Stars, releasing your cry of connection to the vast violet night. Beneath a luminous full moon, stand guard over ancient stones filled with wondrous light. It's titled Castle Wolf by David Penfound Artworks. It's going to measure 27.6 by 39 inches or a 70 by 99 centimeters. So this is going to be a big painting and it's going to be taller than it is wide. Square diamonds as well. 61 colors including 4 ABs and 3 fairy dusts. Let's look at the original artwork here. Again, gorgeous. There is a little bit cut off at the bottom just on my screen here, but it looks, oh, there's another wolf in the distance as well. I didn't see right away. I love the colors in this image. I think it's awesome. I like the stars too. They look like they are glistening. I love the full moon. Gorgeous painting. And there is the rendering. They do an amazing job. Like, look at the fur. It looks like it's actually hair. That looks amazing. Again, there's not much difference from the rendering to the original artwork. Like, they've kept it quite close to the original. Even these stars in the sky look nice. That is pretty now. ABs and fairy dust, they're going to be spread throughout this entire painting. Now, we probably have an AB in the moon and in the stars. Those tend to be sparkly. Even the windows in this castle, I would wonder if there's some ABs in there. We probably have a white AB. I, I often see them do add in white elements to animals like this that are glowing. Even the outline of this, this wolf over in the background as well. They've got some nice pops of red. I don't know if that would be, if an AB would be too much. Maybe it would be a fairy dust. I feel like that is an area though that, that could be blinged up because it is so bright. You have some over here on the left and over here on the right. There's purples and pinks in this kit. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a shade of fairy dust in those colors. And then in the castle as well, you could probably get away with a mix of an AB in the windows and fairy dust. And even these windows here, look, they've made it look like stained glass. I think that looks really cool, especially when you zoom in there. I like this painting. This painting is something that I think would be very interesting to work on. You're going to have lots of little areas of the canvas that will unveil itself as you put those diamonds down. I think it would be an awesome project and I think it would turn out amazing. It's a little on the big side for me, but you need it to be big to get all the detail and also that's why it's in square. There's so much detail, you need square diamonds. Otherwise you'll be diamond painting, I don't know, 120 over 90 centimeters and and who wants, who wants to really diamond paint that size? But I think even looking at these side by side, look how amazing it looks. They really made the wolf stand out. I like how, how it stands out a little bit more in the rendering. Um, because it is more pixelated, I think it looks great. And I, th I think they did a good job making it look like real hair. That castle looks identical. Same with the moon. Great job. That's, that's an awesome picture. Now, that is it for the images on the Facebook page. Now, if, if you're new here, what I do with the final, usually it's two to four images, depending on how many they released each day during the week. I pull them up separately and I don't have the stats for them, but uh, we take a look at the image anyways and we talk about it. That's the most important part. So I am gonna click on them one at a time and we will go over them. So let me just expand this, so remind myself who the artist is. So this is titled Autumn Waterfall by Yasu Art Studio. This painting has a lot of detail. It's probably going to be in square, I will almost guarantee it. It's also going to be big because she is so tiny in the image itself. For her to really, for you to be able to tell that she is a beautiful fairy, it needs to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to guess that it might be similar in the 90, 90 by 70 range in square diamonds. Color wise, I, I'm not the best at guessing color because it really just depends how many, how many DMC colors, how many shades they have at their disposal. The more shades they use, the better the image comes out because just the more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like blending that can happen as well, right? It's probably going to be more of a confetti heavier painting 
We're probably going to have ABs, maybe some fairy dust too. They do like using both usually in a painting. I would imagine these little butterflies have some ABs in them. If, if we uh, zoom in, they are glowing themselves and then they have an orb around them and all of this sparkle dust as well. So I'm, I'm certain there's an AB in there, maybe some fairy dust too. I think you could get away with both. We probably have a white fairy dust, if not an AB. We might have a white AB too because it's often in the water just to make those areas really sparkle and look like it's water, right? Uh, but the white in her dress and that is a little more subdued. Even in the art here, I think you could get away with some white fairy dust. And then they also have fairy dust in green. So I wonder if some of the detail in these leaves and trees in the background might have some of that. They might even put a blue fairy dust in the water as well just so that it's not all white. You also have the reflection of the orbs in the water too, which probably have, that would actually probably look good in a fairy dust if they are putting ABs in the actual, you know, orbs and butterflies themselves. But I think this painting is going to be beautiful. She is glowing. We're also gonna see some glowing area around here. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of the same colors in here and specials are used in here just to make it really glow. I think that painting is gorgeous and you are seeing it all in frame here is the bottom and then I scroll up to the top here. So that is this painting. Now let's take a look at the next one. My jaw also dropped at this one when I first saw it. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. It is titled Bountiful Voyage by again, Eau Claire. Oops, I spelt it wrong there. Eau Claire Studio. They are releasing a lot of artwork from Eau Claire Studio. From what I understand, they are a group of artists. That's probably why we see so much artwork. There is a lot of people probably on that team. I'm just guessing, I haven't done any research into it, but I do know they've said it's a group of artists. The group of artists, they, they are known to use some AI tools in their artwork. However, Diamond Art Club has made a public statement about the use of AI and they actually do require their artists to significantly edit the images uh, before submitting them. So they can't just, you know, spit an image out in AI and send it in. They have to actually make changes to the artwork. They did actually share the process. Was it last week with the, uh, I don't know the title of the kit, but it was the hamsters in the boat. They actually showed a side by side of what the original image was uh, out of AI and what the artist did to it to make it better. So if you wanna look at that, I think it was shared in the VIP group. I can't quite remember though, but um, I do like that they are transparent with the concept of AI. This painting is very detailed. It is going to need to be big again. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the 100 by 70 range. I mean, there is a lot of detail, tons in the sky. And then also down here, all of the bottom of the ocean, tons of detail in the waves, in the boat itself. It's gotta be big, it's gonna be square diamonds, which means so far I think all paintings are probably going to be square, if I'm not mistaken. Again, it just comes down to the image. If we're voting for images that are very detailed and big, expect them to be in square diamonds. Also a, a note on that, if you have not yet tried one of their brand new releases, which has the fully upgraded everything, the square grid, which was actually updated like over a year or two ago by now, uh, but all of the new diamonds, which they make in house now, so they have better control over the quality and they can make improvements themselves. Everything is fitting nicely. I'm currently working on Chroma, which is a new release from Diamond Art Club by Margaret Morales. Those square diamonds are fitting together like a glove. There is no gapping, there is no popping. The diamonds fit in nicely. You're not having to shove them in and click them into place. Like they just fit like a perfect puzzle piece. So if you haven't yet tried one of the brand new, newest releases, I really suggest you do so. Their squares are great. Now about this image in terms of special diamonds, we probably have quite a few. I see a lot of areas where we could use them. We could have whites. It's almost like an off-white uh, glow, but it just depends what, um, I don't have the rendering to show you. So the rendering would show us a more accurate example of the colors that we might expect in a special diamond, but we probably have a white because they could also use the white in the uh, waves here. Lots of white details in here. Um, it would look really cool. They have this blue kind of filigree design on the end of the boat. I think that would look cool if it was in a bit of a, a special diamond, maybe a fairy dust. We have some green kind of glowing things down here. Is that a fish? I can't quite tell if that's a fish or not. I think it looks like a fish. I see a yellow eye there. 
I'm not sure. And then down here, it looks like there's a bit of a cave here with another green orby, some sort of sea creature down there. We also have, see it up here, those look like two fish as well, jumping out of the water. There's a little bit of that lighter green on them, so I think you could get away with using an AB on those, or at least a fairy dust, right? I even see some of the same green in some of the plants, in the greenery of the plants, so you could use it for there too. Some of this yellow I think would look good. You have some of it on the left also over here. I like the flowers, though. Um, you don't usually see flowers under sea. I think that they look really cool. And then you also have um, what is probably coral. I was, I was about to say seaweed, but that's not seaweed. That looks like coral with some of these plants as well. Again, I'm not familiar with plants that live under the sea, um, but they look like flowers to me. I really like the um, these clouds here. I think they look really cool. They're gonna be very detailed. There's gonna be a lot of confetti, lots of different color changes in there. But I think they look really cool. They suit the painting. It kind of almost looks like the waters are rough. So I wonder if there's a storm coming in and these are storm clouds coming through. This is kind of the eye of the storm where it's blue and quiet and somewhat calm. I think the colors in this kit are gonna be awesome. They probably have a high color count. I'm gonna say over 70 is my guess. Uh, special diamonds, I'm guessing we're going to have a mix of ABs and uh, fairy dust. I don't know if we'd have any others. I don't know if there's any areas you could put any crystals in here or iridescent. These trees here, the kind of orange and reds, would look really good with some at least fairy dust, I think, if not AB. Looks like there's some of the similar orange colors up in the sky too. So I think there's lots of areas for this painting. I also think there's a lot of areas that you could bling up this painting even more. For example, using uh, bling from DP with sparklers. Beautiful artwork nonetheless. Now, what's next? This one is titled Cozy Cabin by Steve Reed. These images are becoming very popular. Oh wow, there's a little kitty there. I didn't notice that when I first saw this image. There are a lot of things. It's almost like one of those Where's Waldo paintings where you can find all sorts of different things. You're always finding something new. Let me just zoom in here. Do I see a reflection? Oh, that's cool. So there's a reflection of the fireplace actually in the window. That's a pretty neat component there. We've got beautiful string lights over here probably have some ABs in there to make it glowing. We've also got string lights along the top too. Though these ones over here are a bit brighter. We've also got the light from the lamp looking like it's really glowing. I'd be interested to see how the writing on this little whiteboard translates uh, into the rendering form because it's such tiny detail. This painting probably is also going to be on the big side. Again, there's tons of detail. It's going to be in square diamonds. Again, that's just a guess for this one, but it seems pretty probable based on all of that detail. I do like images like this. They probably could have some ABs in this fireplace as well. It could also be on the candles, right? They're glowing pretty brightly too. We even have some of the strings lights in the reflection. I don't, are those the string lights? I think those are lamps hanging from the tree if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. They could be from inside too, but they look like they're outside in the tree. Sometimes I see the bookshelves having some uh, special diamonds just to make some of the elements pop. We've got lamps over here too. Lots of areas where you could add special diamonds. I can't wait to see the rendering of this one because it is such a detailed image. I, I can't wait to see the rendering. I would love to see how the kitty turns out as well. This one makes me feel warm and cozy inside. She's got a cup of cocoa or coffee and reading a book. It just looks like an amazing place to be. It looks like a nice cabin and I would love to stay there. <laughs> Next, this diamond painting I am going to show you next. I think a lot of people are going to go crazy over. This is a very much anticipated diamond painting. We saw the artist Richard Lorenz post this image a few months back now. I think they did put this ahead in their production line because I feel like this image was produced by Richard Lorenz, who is the artist, sometime like early this year, January, February, if I'm not mistaken. It is titled Special Delivery and you can actually also buy this print on the artist's website. And I don't know if he still has it available, but at the time it was released, you could order a custom and they could actually put your name here instead of special delivery or uh, whatever you wanted on the mailbox, which I thought it was really neat. I did buy one of the prints 
uh, to give to mom because I knew this diamond painting would probably come out in square diamonds, which mom doesn't like doing. So she has the print. Well, I am probably going to pick up the diamond painting because this is going to be one of a kind image. It has the Diamond Art Club boxes on it. It has the amazing birds. Now, I don't know if all of these birds have names. I'm, I'm not one of the crazy bird lovers. So if you are one of the crazy bird lovers, let me know if these little guys have names. But I think it's a gorgeous painting. What I loved about this was the touch with the flowers. I love flowers. I think these daisies are going to look so pretty. I love that these boxes are overflowing because that's what most of our stashes look like, right? We don't have room in our mailbox, our storage lockers, our closets. Some of us take out storage lockers just for your stash. Yes, I was one of those people. And I just love this image. I, I think it's going to be one of a kind. I think it's going to sell out. And I think um, this is just gonna be one of those collector pieces that if you love Diamond Art Club, you love diamond painting, I think you, you would want this in your collection. There's gonna be lots of bright colors too, which is gonna be fun to work on. And as I said, I love the flowers. Again, this one's titled Special Delivery by Richard Lorenz. As far as special diamonds in this painting, or I guess how big would it be? Um, could they get a weight with like a, a 75 by 55? Maybe. I think there are a lot of areas of color blocking in this picture, aside from like, you know, these tiny flowers up here and of course the details in the birds. They it would have to be a little bit larger to get this bird's face looking like its face, if you know what I mean. And then some of the filigree feathers up in through here as well. So I think it's going to be big, but not too big. I don't think it needs to be like 100 by 70. I don't think it needs to be that big. I'm interested to see the size. My, me, myself, I like keeping my diamond paintings around a 75 by 55 or 65, I should say. I don't like going over 80. Um, that's kind of my cutoff uh, lengthwise and 70 widthwise is kind of my cutoff just based on the space that I have to work on my diamond paintings. It's much more comfortable when they are a bit smaller, but this is one I'm definitely going to be grabbing. Specials, white AB, maybe. You could put it in the daisies here. You can put it in the daisies up here in her necklace as well. Looks like this little bird here. I don't know if it's a bird or a butterfly. We do have a dragonfly up here. This might be a butterfly. It's a little bit hard to tell. Actually, no, it actually, if I zoom out a bit again, it's his tail. It's this bird's tail. Duh. So that might have some glowing uh, features as well. There's some whites in the eyes, which you could put an ABN to. In these bubbles in the background, there's a little bit of white that you could put a white ABN. Um, there's a lot of yellow in this painting. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a yellow AB. You could highlight the orange flower here, this yellow flower, this yellow bird, even um, kind of under his eyes and his glasses, there's some yellow in there. This bird has some yellow. Even the background has a bit of yellow, though it's more subdued. Um, maybe we'll see that. I think the blue of this bird is absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful color. Fairy dust, probably. Like I said, they like to mix both fairy dust and AB. I really like working with fairy dust. It acts like a normal diamond. You never have problems with it. And I just like the subtle look of it. So I would, I would hope it has some fairy dust in it too. I can't wait to see the rendering of this one. This image is probably the last image that's going to preview today. Now, for those that don't know, I sit down usually Friday morning, sometimes it's Thursday afternoon, but usually Friday morning, and I film this early, so we are at five o'clock in the morning, my time zone. Um, so that's why I don't have the renderings of these, but Diamond Art Club allows me to do this just so I have some flexibility with my health. I can put out this video for you guys because I really enjoy doing these roundups. I love talking about these paintings. I've always wanted to do a roundup like this, but because of my health, I just didn't feel like I, I could contribute meaningfully. I mean, I wish I could be on screen with my face and talk to you guys in person all the time, but it's, it's a lot easier for me to just do it this way. That way I can film in the morning, I can still wear my PJs and drink my coffee, and I can still talk to you guys. So uh, I appreciate everybody who is here, and I hope you enjoy these roundups. I always love hearing from you guys too, so please make sure you leave in the comments down below what you think of these paintings. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions. Let me know what is on your shopping list this week. What is going on your wish list? I know I will definitely be picking this one up because it's going to be one of those rare collector items. I am guessing, though I can't be certain because I feel like Richard Lorenz's artwork is often archived after its release, but I feel like this is kind of something that's very special to Diamond Art Club and I feel like it would be in their favor to 
to not archive it because I think a lot of people that are, continue coming into the craft, continue coming to Diamond Art Club for the first time would really like uh, this as a diamond painting as well. Fingers crossed that, you know, if it sells out, which I think it will, it is going to restock at least one more time. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. That's just, that's just my opinion again, you guys. I guess I should go over the times now. The times are the same as always. So Saturday releases often, the release times don't change unless it's for some special reason. Uh, so Saturday releases, this is usually when they release. 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 10.30 a.m. Mountain, 11.30 a.m. Central, 12.30 p.m. Eastern for general release. So that's the general public. If you are part of Diamond and Ruby Rewards tier, you do get 30 minutes early access. So if you are new to Diamond Art Club, make sure you sign up for an account. You get points for every purchase you make. And the more points you get, one, the more uh, kind of coupons you get, you get dollars off uh, with your points. And then you also get to move up in rewards tiers. I believe there's four of them. I think it goes Ruby, Emerald, or maybe not, not Ruby. What is it? Sapphire, Emerald, Ruby, and Diamond, I think is how it goes. Could be wrong. I don't know. I've always been Diamond. Uh, I Like most of you, you, you get to Diamond pretty darn quickly once you find Diamond Art Club. But if you are part of those two rewards tiers, you do get 30 minutes early access. That means uh, for my time zone, which is Pacific time, I get access to the new releases at 9 a.m. If you are in Mountain, you'd get 10, Central is 11, and Eastern is 12 p.m. Do remember that you do not need to wait for any sort of email or text message with a link to purchase. The VIP releases, all you need to do now is sign into your Diamond Art Club account and at the top of the hour, so for me it would be 9 a.m. Pacific, I refresh my browser and the new releases should appear in the new release section. There's also usually a banner that appears at the top that says new releases or VIP releases unlocked and it will remain open for Diamond and Ruby Rewards members for that half an hour. If a diamond painting sells out in VIP release, they do hold back some stock for general release. However, in my experience, if it sells out in VIP release, it often sells out faster in general release. So if you do miss it in VIP, make sure you're ready right when it drops at 9.30 Pacific time to try and grab it at general release. If you can't get it and it completely sells out in both time slots, sign up for email notifications. Sometimes people may cancel their order. They accidentally ordered an extra one or uh, for some reason the order was canceled. So if you sign up for email notifications right away, you may be notified if one of those kits comes up. And if it does, it's probably gonna be gone very quickly. So you wanna jump on it. Otherwise, paintings that seem to sell out very fast, Diamond Art Club does have a tendency to restock them and also restock them like on the sooner sooner range of things. We, we usually say most diamond paintings will restock between three and six months after its last release. Something that's very popular and sells out very fast tends to come out a little bit closer to that three month range, at least in, in my experience. And don't be bummed if you miss out. Diamond Art Club does a great job. And don't be bummed out if you miss out on a painting. Diamond Art Club does a great job at trying to make sure that they have the most stock possible. Remember that these diamond paintings go in production like six months or more before we actually see them on the website for sale. So they have to guess six months you know, previously how popular an image might be. That's a very hard job, I imagine. So sometimes it might seem like something sells out super fast. You think they didn't have a lot of stock. It could just be very popular. Since they've moved their warehouse to Texas now, it's been quite a while. I think it has it been a year. I'm not quite sure. I don't really keep track of those things, but they have more space in the warehouse. They can offer a higher volume of kits. Back in the day, like three years ago, all of the releases would sell out. So um, we are very lucky that they've been able to um, expand their business and offer higher volume of diamond paintings. But as things go, sometimes things sell out. Don't be bummed. Don't post in the VIP group how sad and mad you are. Breathe. It's not the end of the world. Chances are it will be restocked. You know, worst case scenario, people change their minds all the time and you might be able to find a kit you missed out on in a D-stash group. If you made it to the end of this video, why not leave me a little diamond emoji since we are all here for diamond painting and diamond art club. 
Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me. That really does help in YouTube land getting videos out there and I really appreciate it. It's also completely free to give it a thumbs up. If you are new here too, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. It's also completely free. I would love it if you would join my community here on YouTube. I'm also over on Facebook on DAC Fans Canada. Links to all of that stuff is always in the description box of my videos. You do not need to be Canadian to join the actual group and be a part of the community. If you don't want to miss out on my videos, you can also hit that notification bell. It will let you know as soon as a video goes live. Don't forget to leave some comments down below telling me what you think of some of these releases. I would love to hear from you guys. Of course, this video goes live once you guys have probably already seen some of the sneak peeks. So you may already know where some of the special diamonds are, but I would love to hear your train of thought, your opinions when you look at an image like this and you're trying to guess before, you know, the sneak peeks come out where certain uh, special diamonds might go or where certain bling would look good. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your thought processes as well. And uh, that reminds me too about the sneak peeks. We may see over the next few weeks a delay in some of the sneak peeks. So there may be some sneak peeks that don't have a video. I always recommend um, following the playlist, which is on Sophie that I'm in help desk's YouTube channel. The sneak peek playlist is always uh, pinned in the description box down below of this video. If you go onto that playlist, all of the sneak peeks that are available will be there. You will not miss them. Sometimes paintings are delayed in transit. So this, the sneak peeker will post a first look. That usually means the painting has already released, but here is what it looks like if you're still waiting for my video to make your decision. And then sometimes the sneak peeks aren't sent at all because of just delays in the warehouse. I know Diamond Art Club has had some delays the past couple weeks and we might see some delays for the next week or two as well, just as they are, you know, busy producing lots of exciting things. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching to the end and I really appreciate all of you guys. Happy shopping tomorrow and until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye guys. Bye.